pre-existing checking, peeling, flaking or bubbling can continue under the new coating layer. Secondly, removal of surface contaminant. As I said, removal of surface contaminant because this contaminant will um, will result in with what we call just now weak boundary layers. Weak boundary layers um, is a more more common leaf on this coating. Removal of loose part of the surface, accurately profile the surface and ensure the newly prepared surfaces are dry. So this is application of absorption to engineering. Um, for this time, uh, I get, uh, I just have time to get these two, um, two examples. So in a petroleum industry, in petroleum industry, um, yes, asphalt is one of the compounds. So asphalt needs uh, tend to form nano aggregates and are generally the problem is in problem uh, petroleum industry the problem statement is asphalt needs tend to form nano aggregates and are generally interfacially active and can strongly absorb to the water all and all solid interface so when it absorb so our oil will have the asphalt needs and then this uh, the asphalt needs Will this is being an um, emulsion to this because it's uh, it's a mixture, it's a mix with the oil, which will would lead to undesirable stabilized emulsion, corrosion, and falling of the production facilities and even pipeline plugging. That's the problem. So um, they try to how to reduce the emulsion of the oil and asphaltonis because you know when we do when uh, in the petroleum industry we have the water of uh, when uh, drilling we know the oil is in the uh, if we have uh, oil at offshore so we're dealing with the water here and then we have this salt is a brine so we have salt that dissociate natrium salt natrium ion and chloride ion and then there is a it, it will bind to the surface of this uh, emulsion so how to overcome this um how to overcome this problem so there is a paper of this the uh, so i can simplify the solution they use solvent uh, initially they use solvent because solvent is very important because solvent remember that's hydrophobic hydrophilic that i call as the surface and lipophobic and lipophilic and then how to interact with this uh, hydrophobic and hydrophilic is based on like is of like so the solvent that what that can dissolve asphaltonis so they use solvent have tall others there is a, a certain ratio of heptane and toluene, then they call that solvent as heptol. And then it's still not a really a success. So they fabricate uh, of poly 3 dimethyl 2 metal. Uh, this is a polymer. Uh, what they simplified BAP MAPS with the polydopamine uh, coating. Uh, this is uh, this fabrication. This is happen to the pipeline. Pipe, pipeline. Then uh, the uh, uh, I actually I I got this from the review paper, and then that review paper said at the first time after they doing so many research, so many paper about how to overcome the aspartin aspartins uh, uh, concentration to reduce the aspartin concentration to reduce the emulsion of this aspartin. So for, for the first time, they said that by doing doing this, the emuls, uh, emulsion, the emulsification can be reduced. So that is a solution. Um, there is a paper I will give you. The, oh, I didn't I didn't state the paper. I will give you after this. So wastewater treatment. So there is another application. The problem organic contaminants are one class of the major polluters that can potentially endanger the health of creatures and ecosystem. Common organic pollutants include pesticide, pharmaceutical dyes, pesticides and fire retardants. This is problem. Actually, um, uh, we are dealing with one um, uh, government government sector government uh, department gov government body 
and then we do this uh, research uh, because they want us to solve the problem of this industrial wastewater. Then there is so many organic contaminants inside there, microorganism. So we we quite headache to think about how to overcome to to treat the the water, the industrial wastewater, because of um, we of so many things so that's why it's, it's, a, it's, it's a big research as well uh, uh, it's a good research to um, to know how to overcome to treat this uh, type of wastewater so the solution here uh, in that paper is just is give this membrane firms coated on mica and then we have uh, uh, this case study, uh, this is regards to the chemical bonding. As I said just now, one of the theory of addition and this is chemical uh, chemisorption. So this is chemical illustration of the addition promotion mechanism between inkjet printed, uh, copper patterns and polyimide substrate. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is I get from the, it's quite old journal, Journal of Material Chemistry 2012. So this is the explanation of what uh, the chemical, the chemistry of what was happened uh, um, uh, during this uh, functionalization, modification of the surface. So they use a heat treatment to the heat treat a heat treatment to copper conductive pattern with enhanced addition strength, and then uh, finally they get a good in in uh, this is a uh, bare bare substrate with the 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 absorb the adhere the the functionalize with organic organic compound and then oxygen plasma treatment then we have the hydroxyl on this and inject green thing so this is what they did is uh, actually they have this one what uh, the the surface itself they have one uh, they have absorbed one um, one compound that we name as addition promoter in order to functionalize the surface so water based copper ink with silane silane here as i as actually this is uh, i have uh, shown before uh, i've shown you all When I said about silane surface, it's a bonding or binding agent to improve the addition between the two dissimilar material. Two dissimilar materials. So this has happened um, uh, here. The chemical bonding using the chemical theory for the fun, uh, surface function uh, surface modification, they put silane. Silane. So the silane as linkages to another that material to adhere to this material by right that one the, the material the inkjet printing cannot um, uh, absorb on this uh, cannot adhere cannot uh, adhere to the surface but the modification of the uh, the functionalization of the surface make the substrate available for that material so this is the this is uh, the explanation the, about the chemical what was happen um, during this functionalization process. So there is another one by electrostatic theory. Uh, okay, this is what I, uh, I told you just now. This is what we said about the um, this nature communication. Uh, this is a marine adhesive, how they have um, they have discovered to have this material, uh, marine adhesive, that's why they can um, they can publish in nature communication. Nature is very hard to publish in that particular um, web, uh, journal. So electrostatic interaction is strong but usually diminish in high ionic strength environment. So biosystem can use this interaction through adjacent cationic aromatic R. Uh, cationic aromatic amino acid sequence of protein even in a saline medium in a saline medium that's why so uh, 
they got this, they got the, they have studied about this, uh, this compound, and this compound have the uh, durability in a saline medium, saline, uh, saline medium. So if saline, so you can think that they must have so many ions of natrium chloride and others. Uh, other types of ion application of such a specific sequence sequence to the development of cationic polymer material and receive to negatively charged surfaces in saline um, environment is challenging due to the difficulty in controlling the copolymer sequence so the copolymer with adjacent 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 cation aromatic sequence can be synthesized through cation pi complex added free radical so they add they add this is under seawater and receive hydrogen so they uh, so this that's why they can produce that's why they can publish in uh, nature because what is the hydrogen itself is uh, is um, the high, uh, underwater elusive hydrogel this is a very new and then how they make this uh, they modify they functionalize the the surface with this uh, cation aromatic sequence synthesized through cation pi complex this is through uh, chemical uh, modification but uh, however even though it's chemical uh, modification but it deal with the charge of this polycation uh, compound. That's why it's, this is it goes under electrostatic uh, theory. But electrostatic, whatever electros, uh, electrostatic theory, but it is from the approach of um, chemical bonding. So aromatic and copolymer are found to enhance electrostatic interactions. Aromatic oncopolymer are found to enhance electrostatic interaction of the adjacent cationic residue uh, to the counter surfaces, even in high ionic strength medium that screen the um, screens the electrostatic interaction for common polyelectrolyte. This is um, quite high, but this paper is very good because uh, very good to read and to understand because uh, it to enhance uh, to get uh, to to continue the the research with different types of marine adhesive. This as a precedent is is very good. So this works open a pathway to develop adhesive using saline water. This is this, this is what I meant just now. So um, I have shared the the I have have I've stated here the the paper Nature Communication Volume Ten in two thousand nineteen. Now it's two thousand twenty one. We still have time. The we the 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 door is quite. Um, the door is quite openly large uh, because this research is quite new. So uh, because of uh, then because of this example from this electrostatic and chemical bonding and some uh, some um, explanation about the absorption and adhesion, I hope it will give something uh, knowledge uh, for all of you, even though. Maybe it's not, uh, it's not too related to your study, but at least, uh, but what what I just want to give to share to you is from, uh, from we 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 want to synergize from this uh, chemical uh, chemistry approach to the engineering the chemical engineering um, application. So and because of that, um, thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Hamiza. Uh, very nice presentation, uh, good topic. And uh, we still have uh, several minutes for uh, question and answer. Uh, yeah, just uh, yeah, if you have uh, some question from participant, please raise your hand and uh, ask directly to Dr. Hamiza. Oh yeah, Ibrahim, Adnan, please. Assalamualaikum and good evening, Mr. Samiza. Waalaikumsalam. Uh, uh, 
uh, I want to ask to ask you about the mechanism of uh, adhesion theory. Uh, uh, the, the the question is uh, there are some there are four theories of uh, adhesion theories, and then uh, based on the theory based on the theories, uh, is there no any exact mechanism of adhesion or maybe or maybe the the four are uh, are possible to happen thanks is the sorry can can you repeat uh, your question i'm not really get it uh, sorry uh, um so this the mechanism of of addition addition uh, there are actually can uh, there, there are uh, four cases for theories of addition uh, and the then guess and then uh, is there is, is there no any exact 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 mechanism of exact mechanism of addition or maybe is there uh, the four are uh, possible to happen what is possible to happen uh, can you the tagung if you can uh, can simplify it for me can you explain in, in bahasa Graham, uh -huh. bahasa Indonesia? Yes, yes. Ya, I can bye. understand you. Ya, yeah. uh, jadi begini, Bu. Kan ada empat teori dari ADC. Nah, sementara itu, ini kan uh, ada, ada, ada empat teori, kan, kan Bu? Apakah ada, apakah empat teori ini masih, sifatnya masih kemungkinan, ataukah ada mekani, mekanisme yang tepat dan pasti untuk sebuah ADC? Terima kasih, atau, atau kemungkinan, empat-empatnya terjadi begitu. Terima kasih. Oke, okay, faham. So, uh, oke. Okay. Uh, oke, okay. uh, so as uh, as I explain just now, the addition, we have six theory of addition, right? Six theory of addition. Is it this is what you meant just now, Ibrahim? Uh, yes. Yes, uh, so uh, six theory. So uh, actually, yes, as I said before, the addition, when we said about addition, there is a not a very certain uh, mechanism, that not a very certain uh, definition of the addition. Um, then uh, the theory is what I, I explained just now. Actually, there is a six theory. What I, what I mean is um, they can be, uh, they can, it, it can be, it, It, it can be overlap each other. For instance, if uh, from from my example just now, when I give you about the 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 electrostatic, the electro electrostatic, uh, the electro electrostatic of this um, uh, electrostatic of the wastewater, right? Ele no, no, electrostatic uh, of of. Uh, of Um, so meaning um, it is uh, all those uh, all those um, all those addition theory it is uh, sometimes it can be uh, it can be it can be two um, it can be two theory in order uh, it, that it can be two theory in order to um, in order to uh, like centrostatic just now when I when I said about the discovery about adhesion adhesion what we say uh, so adhesion marine um, material from the natures yes it is electrostatic but it is a from understanding of chemical bonding the phenomena as well as, as uh, what i understand from you you want to say that is there is a very certain if you uh, this is if you want to do this you do this as uh, about um, uh, you should use electrostatic theory you want to do this you use uh, chemical theory uh, you want to do this you do the mechanical interlocking right ibrahim yeah. But, but uh, uh, from from my reading from the from the study in uh, in fact uh, I have one uh, collaboration research with my friend in physics uh, in terms of that we uh, there is a no um, 
there is an, no mandatory. There is a no certain that when I say, oh, uh, you just have to use electrostatic. When we do electrostatic just now, when we do this, when they do this electrostatic uh, marine adhesive, they have they have they combine the theory of uh, electrostatic and chemical bonding as well. So the uh, uh, to back to your question, if, you, if there is six, it can be interrelated for each other. In order to for mechanical, uh, for instance, for mechanical interlocking, uh, if you want to interlock that copper onto uh, onto the aluminium surface, you have to understand the chemical, uh, the chemical, the chemistry of uh, whether whether they can interlock or not. Uh, the interlocking, the interlocking, because yes, there is a physical, but once it's come back to to that lock to that pore you must have that the uh, chemical reaction uh, the chemical bonding as well ibrahim did i answer your questions uh, nanti saya mau menyimpulkan bu sorry mau menyimpulkan saya mau uh, menyimpulkan gini bu apa berarti tidak tidak ada uh, metode yang pasti untuk menganalisis sebuah peristiwa adesif begitu kan bu atau bagaimana sorry sorry uh, boleh ulang jadi Uh, apa dari di, dari pertanyaan pernyataan ibu uh, berarti tidak ada uh, mekanisme yang pasti pada sebuah mekanisme yang pasti dan pada sebuah peristiwa adesi begitu atau mungkin ada yang perlu dikoreksi tapi Ibrahim apapun keadaannya bila masuk adhesion tu sebab dia berkaitan dengan uh, there is about this chemical bonding so the chemical bonding should must should have when you do the adhesion even though you use electrostatic is about the chemical electrostatic the chemical uh, electrostatic when we said about the charge of the compound positive and negative but that is linked with this chemical uh, with the chemical behaviors as well of compound that adhere on the surface of our substrate or of our substrate. There is no, uh, uh, but if you see us now, like for interlocking of chemical bonding, that is the, that is a, that is a, if that uh, chemical bonding or electrostatic, uh, you should see the 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 behavior of your compound, your substrate, and the material that you're going to adhere on the surface. You have to study the material first, then you you can choose the theory. Uh, there is no 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 certain oh if A you should do A, but if A with B or A with C will be different. A with, A with B, maybe you can use the you can use um, you can use electrostatic theory, but A with B you might use chemical bonding theory, uh, like that. Baik Bu Tri, jawabannya sangat membantu. Terima kasih banyak atas jawabannya. Sama-sama. We still have a four person whose right hand. Uh, Fernanda, Fandi, Alfian, Toto, Toto, Amelia. Uh, can you ask direct uh, for person? And probably there, are, uh, there is a question is similar or something like that. And then uh, Dr. Amisa direct to uh, respond for the question. Okay, Doctor. Hello, uh, Fandi, Fernanda, Fandi, and Amelia, can you uh, explain your question? And uh, and then uh, uh, Dr. Hamisa to uh, respond your question. Dan macam ini, Dokter. Jadi tiga ini biar bertanya sekalian, sekali dalam satu waktu. Nanti uh, Dokter uh, apa respon ininya untuk untuk ini. Silakan, uh, Fernanda. Oh, okay, thank you, Mr. Yeah. Agung, for the time. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, Mrs. Hamiza. My name is Fernanda Driputra, and I have a simple question about addition for surface engineering. 
And my question is, is there any correlation between thickness of the thin film and poor adhesion of the film to the substrate? Thank you, Mrs. Yes. The thickness of the of, of the thin film play a very essential, a very vital, uh, vital, vital properties uh, for the for the addition. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Penanda. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Uh, I understand. Okay, next to uh, Fandi Samsudin. Okay, uh, thank you for the time. My name is Fandi. I want to ask about uh, what are the current research trends in surface technology? Thank you. In surface technology, the current trend is uh, the surface functionalization, surface modification, right? Um, surface functionalization due to uh, graphene. Graphene, uh, graphene is quite obsolete for two, two, three years, but graphene is very quite popular nowadays. It's about functionalized on the graphene uh, surface, and then um, the enhancements of the of of the of the material through functionalization and modification of the of the surface. Um, do you mean by material or you mean by technique? Uh, Fandi, do you mean uh, the re the recent re research is based on the material or technique? Uh, in in material. In material, um, because because the material is quite uh, quite quite the field is very very big. So what I'm doing now is LDH layered uh, double hydroxide, and then I'm trying now nowadays. So I. Uh, I can say at my uh, for, uh, for 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 from my uh, from my research point of view, so we try to functionalize the the surface of this layered double hydroxide with another um, with another another compounds on that. Or uh, there is uh, there is an uh, no. We try to functionalize uh, basoporous material, for instance, SBA fifteen, SBA sixteen in order to use uh, to to apply for for wastewater treatment nowadays that is from my point of view because i'm doing that research so i i can say that but for others uh, for hydration i don't absorption uh, as well i'm doing the crystallization so to functionalize uh, but this is more to software we 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 calculate the surface energy, surface attachment, uh, doing uh, using the uh, chemical engineering software. That is what I can say. That is from point point of view. But others research, I'm not really, I'm not really, um, really, I'm not really can answer it uh, definite for you. I'm sorry for that. Okay, thank you for the answer. Welcome. Okay, uh, now. Uh, next uh, question from Amelia. Thank you. My name is My name is Amelia Angreni. Uh, Amelia. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask to Mrs. Hamiza: Is chemical bonding in absorption phenomena also give effect to the coating addition? Yes. Uh, that's why I said when we say about the coating, uh, coating, coating phenomena. When we talk about coating and addition, we want to coat, we want to coat the surface, right? When we want to coat the surface, we have to know the, uh, the 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 properties of the surface and the the material that we want to adhere to absorb on the surface. So we have to know that whether that material that we are going to absorb on the surface has ability to interact with our surface of not. When we said about the chemical absorption or chemical absorption, meaning we have to know, uh, as I said before, when we said the chemical absorption, uh, it's a very selective. Like I said, like, like person to person, you can talk to your uh, to one friend five minutes, to other friend one hour is because you have the chemical, the chemistry with them. So like that, when we do the chemical absorption as well as the coating, so you must have to know uh, whether the uh, you whether the material that you want to coat to your 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 surface um, uh, can be able to have this surface bonding or not. 
if this is only a physical bond, so it will um, the physical bond it will it will not long last. Amelia, can I, did I answer you? Yes. <laughs> Thank you for your answer. Okay. Alvian. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Assalamualaikum. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Dr. Hamima Hamiza. Um, uh, I read some of your uh, publication in abstract uh, before I ask you this question. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> uh, because currently you also uh, do some experiment related to corrosion using inhibitor, uh, and then I yeah, is it correct? I for it. Yeah, actually, that is my collaboration with my partner, with my team. Um, uh, she is a corrosion chemist, and then I'm um, actually my expert my 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 PhD. I'm doing the X-ray photo electrospectroscopy, so I'm doing this uh, XPS XPS analysis. That's why uh, that 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 is my paper. Oh, okay. Um. Uh, can I ask about this or? Okay. If I can um, answer that. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, based on these two papers, uh, I realized that you and your team um, mm. develop develop some chemical organic compound which can be used inhibitors. as uh, inhibitors. Mm. Inhibitors uh, uh, based. And also considering about your presentation, uh, I get a concept that these inhibitors should has uh, like and dislike behavior. Like he should like to the surface of the mild steel and dislike to the surface of the fluid, which yes. which um, which flow through the pipeline or through something. Mm -hmm. um, my question is, how to select? What is the concept to select? A certain organic uh, which has this behavior. I mean, related to the uh, functional structure or something. Okay, That's thank, what, you. Uh, th uh, thank you. Thank uh, you, Okay, this is based on uh, this is um, more to chemistry. When we say about this, when uh, you have to know that the surface, you if you want to interact with the surface, the absorption under the surface. So it is a set molecular level. Molecular level meaning uh, you have to know, uh, you have to understand the electron because the interaction is electron and then it's as a valence electron. That is a valence yes. electron. Yes. Then when you said about the valence electron, so now you have to know the 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 bottom part is about you have to know about the electron donor. The, what is the compound that is electron donor, electron susceptor? Yes. Uh, that is the fundamental that you have to know in order to um, uh, to to get to as what you are, your question just now the pipeline and then the, uh, the uh, how this interact with the uh, corrosion inhibitors. Okay. Is it okay. I answer you? Yeah, you give me some um, map. You are master student, researcher? Yeah, I'm student. Uh, Thank you. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. I, I'm not really answer you uh, as what you want to, <laughs> but uh, that is that this the answers. Because yeah, but I get the concept. Uh, I get okay. the rough, rough concept from you. Thank you so much. Welcome. Yeah, um, thank you. Uh, uh, I think it looks uh, like we have uh, covered all of a uh, question from participant, uh, Dr. Amiza, is there any else you wanted to cover before uh, wrap up? Uh, thank um, wrap up. Okay, I just uh, thank you very much for your invitation, and I am very grateful to have such a students, a very active student can ask, uh, can ask, uh, can ask me whatever. Uh, you are very open, uh, even though. Uh, uh, you are very, I, I'm, uh, this is for me is a very grateful to have a student that can ask a question even though online and they are very active and they have, uh, they, they are really uh, into, um, they really hear, meaning really hear what I'm saying just now and then they try to grasp uh, 
the uh, the sharing session that I have shared to to them very uh, to them. So um, yes, I am very grateful to have all of you this afternoon on even though it's online. But I hope that uh, in the future uh, we can we can meet again. Uh, maybe uh, at different field of sharing. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, before we close, uh, uh, Ms. Am Amalia wrote in uh, question book, uh, three lucky participants. Uh -huh. I saw this. <laughs> Who yeah, will be the prize for three participants? First question. Yeah. Fernanda, Amelia, and Bapak Alfian Toto. Yeah. yeah, please contact uh, Miss uh, Amalia through WhatsApp, this number. Yes, okay. Yes. <laughs> Great. Uh, thank you, uh, everyone. We appreciate you being here. And thanks again for uh, joining us uh, today. And we will see you for next time. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Amiza. Welcome. And, yeah, see you for next time time or we can make a cooperation some cooperation between it ITS and IE2M. Yes, maybe we can invite you nice. to, our, yeah. to our students. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Thank you very uh, much. Yeah. Assalamualaikum so warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. So I can I leave now? Yeah, okay, yeah, thank yeah. you Dr. Amiza. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. Makasih Pak Gempur. Ya, makasih kembali. Saya alif juga.